another dream catcher reaction for you guys literally just came from reacting to the b cos mv and now i'm here to do an album first listen for summer holiday don't know why i sang that i'm super super excited i've got nothing else to say hopefully this doesn't get blocked because i'm not going to split it literally youtube is being a bitch when it comes to album first listen recently i know you guys said that dream kind dream cut Oh my god, I almost said a really bad word. Um, you said that Dreamcatcher's company are pretty decent when it comes to copyright, so hopefully it should be fine. And yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, as you know, I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing the songs. I want to concentrate on the music and the sounds and their vocals. This is my first, it's music, guys. This is my first time hearing the sounds. The lyrics just distract me. I'll read them later in my own time. Also, I'm, I don't think I need to cut it. I don't think the songs need to be cut, it should be fine, and yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so first up is the intro. I love me a Dreamcatcher intro. why I love me some dream catcher intros um, it sounded very very playful or it reminded me obviously of because I feel like their intros are always such a good representation of their title tracks and it did it had that sort of almost playful spooky but not spooky or spook spook like in a sort of Halloween fun sort of way if that makes sense but yeah let's go on to because <laughs> So catchy. Dami's verse, there's little back and forth ad libs. I love that sound effect, they've used that before. Um, it sounds like you know, like a like a megaphone sort of sound. I like that. Cause I like you, I like you, so no they got the time 
little giggle. I don't want to spend too much time talking about each song because um, I want to keep this reaction quite short, this album first listen is quite short. I don't have too much time today, also I'm scared about copyright. I'm saying I'm in a rush, but yet here I am blabbering away. Um, like I said, everything that I said in the MV, uh, in the MV reaction, um, I also wanted to add, um, I forgot to mention that psycho sort of violin, you know that <coughs> that sort of sound, um, I heard it at some point in the song. Um, it, like I said, it's quite it's spooky. It's that signature like Dreamcatcher spooky sound, but it's it's playful. It's summery. It's summer spook. Hence the the fairground carnival, whatever the fuck you guys call it. Um, it's fun. It's fun spooky. I just love the playful tone. I want to mention that acid house drum and bass sort of beat during Dami's verse as well. I fucking love that. There were a lot of beat switch ups in general in this song. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, now we have Airplane, let's go.
absolutely love that the synths the beat oh my god that's one of my favorite dream catcher songs i swear to god i wish i wish they did an mv for that and it was like a cute concept but there was like spooky elements to it does that make sense i would have loved that please i hope there's a choreo for that i would love that so much oh geez let's go on to the next one okay guys so now we have a whistle can you stay with me and pull my soul? We put up a naked boot or troll. Would you stay with me? We saw, we saw. In my heart, in my heart. Okay. I like the whistle. Please skip forward now because we're about to be honest. There were some elements that I did enjoy. Um, I like the in my heart. I think that's what they were singing in my heart. That melody was really, really nice. Um, that whistle that was in the chorus is quite common in K-pop at the moment. I've mentioned it before. I think it was in um, which twice reaction was it? Shit. Anyway, uh, perfect world. Um, it has that sort of western theme to it. Um, I've mentioned his name many, many times before, but Ennio Morricone, he's the one who first put the whistles in like western movies, spaghetti westerns to be specific. Um, he's one of my favorite composers. He did the, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the all those sort of vibes. Anyway, and it's quite common in K-pop at the moment. 
and I like it. What I didn't really like was the EDM aspect in the chorus. That sort of EDM just is not for me, unfortunately. The song also reminded me, I don't know if you guys know this song, it's called Children by Robert Miles. <laughs> reminded me of Dreamcatcher put out so many different sounds it's bound to happen that sometimes I might not vibe with some of the songs I'm sorry let's move on to the next one okay guys so now we have all day long <laughs>
that was straight up, hands down, the best Dreamcatcher song I've ever heard. That's my number one favourite Dreamcatcher song ever. I've literally just heard it and I mean it this time. That's my favourite Dreamcatcher song ever. That's going on the top of my song of the year list. You watch top five songs this year. Top five songs this year, bro! Oh my god, some people would call that city pop, but I don't know, I feel like people always use the term city pop wrong because city pop is Japanese. City pop is literally just jazz fusion, uh, jazz funk, that sort of stuff. Disco is a mixture of that stuff, but people call it, people call songs influenced by that stuff city pop these days, and it's like confusing to me because city pop is literally just Japanese music from that era and obviously this is not Japanese so that was jazz fusion jazz funk I love that so much bro it was incredible I could cry I'm just gonna go straight into the next one okay guys so the last song is a heart of sunflower ballad
Okay, so at first I was a little bit worried as you guys know I'm not really into ballads. Um, I enjoy listening to them, but I tend to find them a little bit boring. So if they're on, I'm enjoying it because I get to hear a, I get to hear a song that's stripped back and I get to hear their vocals properly. But then I never sort of put ballads on to listen to ever again. I'm just never really in the right frame of mind to listen to ballads, I feel. So I was a little bit worried, but it did gradually turn into more of a rock sort of ballad again the melody is so 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 consistent their um their harmonies and also they all sounded really light and sort of breathy and airy um really really nice i love the cello the strings um the guitar the piano and then the electric guitar came in as what sealed the deal for me um i really really love the electric guitar but yeah for a ballad i really really enjoyed that one if I have to pick a top three, let's see. Number one, obviously, is All Day Long. Number one. Number two is Airplane. And number three is Because. I actually like the intro even more than Because maybe. Can I choose the intro? No, I won't choose the intro. That's a pop out. Um, but obviously all day long is my favorite track but yeah guys that's it let me know your top three or at least your favorite track in the comments and i'm done i'm good i'm finished i'll see you in my next stream catch a reaction and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed i love you i love you gonna follow me on instagram guys gonna follow me on twitter and yeah Goodbye. Aww.